I'd like to thank everyone uh, who's putting on the presentation today, putting on the seminar. I'm really enjoying it. I'd just like to say that uh, ge geomorphology was my first love, and it's wonderful to be able to combine and apply the processes of geomorphology and archaeology. Uh, and everyone here uh, has said something that's directly applicable to my job. Um, I'd like to say that I do have some photos or some uh, artifacts uh, salvage collected and collected from excavation from Snake Island, currently curated at Sarasota County Historical Resources, and acknowledge that these are cultural items that were made, belong to individuals and families that were used in their daily activities as they participated in their cultures. Um, Snake Island is a site that uh, I identified in 19. Uh, uh, 94 is containing an archaeological site that was eroding from, a, from an island. And my story today is going to talk a little bit about what I found uh, about this over the last 20 years. Let's see if we can make this move. Uh, the, first, um, the first illustration of map of Snake Island was in 1883 in the U.S. Coastal Geodetic Survey representing the night that definitely parallel night settlement. Uh, Snake Island is illustrated as a uh, the red arrow, and it's south of Casey's Pass, and it's part what appeared to be a a uh, flood tide delta, and uh, it's illustrated here as a mangrove marsh. 1930s uh, aerial prior to the stabilization and hard shoring of the pass. Uh, this is the southern end of Snake Island. And you can see there's a little house, house vault on the southern end of the island. Jesse uh, and Elijah uh, Turner lived on a houseboat uh, at the southern end of the island. The, the 1948 depicts the island as a elongated spoil island that was dredged in 1907 when the initial intercoastal water was cut. I mean, this is after the Venice and the far shore. In 1965, the island was bisected, bisected again, and both islands were used as a spoil island. Here's the distribution of local sites in the general vicinity. Pictured in the center is Snake Island in the project area. Snake Island from the shore in 1999 shows it as a sand elevated spoil island with uh, mostly Australian pines. In 1990, 1994, I documented a, a show mitten eroding out below mangrove mud. And uh, in that mangrove mud below the sands and the spoil was a uh, archaeological shell mitten of uh, considerable uh, interest. Along the shores were distribution of shell, uh, bone, sea turtle bone, shell tools that represented a uh, past uh, life ways in an exceptional state of preservation. Also associated with articulated broken pots, um, uh, shell tools, and uh, much of it were eroding out of primary context and getting deposited on the shore. Some of the uh, ceramic artifacts that were represented were both mainly Pinellas Plain, San Tepper Plain, St. John's Plain, Check Stamp, and, uh, and Glaze Tool. What was exceptional about the, this material was that it was, it was as if it was deposited that day. As it eroded out, you could see that the site gave evidence that it was rapidly abandoned and quickly inundated with bay mud with, with rising seas and, uh, and turned into a, a, a mangrove marsh. Some of the other artifacts, there were two episodes where entire pot breaks were exposed and uh, with permission from the state and the West Coast Navigation District who owned the spoil island, I put in a couple one by one meters and point plotted every piece. Uh, other shell tools um, were type C and D hammers, uh, perforated arc shells, columella uh, tools, and cohog shells, neck gauges, etc. 
and a sequence of types of CMD families would illustrate the reduction of that specific type of tool in uh, exceptional state of preservation, representing the activities of the people who lived there. Also, which was exceptional uh, and probably atypical, were a high amount, high frequency of sea turtle boats, which was, I've never seen uh, such quantities of sea turtle boats in direct association with the shell tools and ceramics. In 2000, I had the opportunity to work on the uh, stabilization project for uh, Snake Island, Jim Neville, and Palmer Point Park by the Army Corps of Engineers as part of a Sarasota Bay restoration project where they were going to restore some of these upland spoil sites and uh, and return to their marsh uh, habitat. And it seemed like this was an opportunity to protect, protect the Snake Island site um, and uh, and preserve its its erosional uh, qualities. Crew of four uh, worked from a, a pontoon boat, dug upland shuttle tests in water quarry, uh, also did longshore auger testing and six foot uh, testing inside three foot shuttle tests. Um, we identified features offshore, pin flag and did an underwater uh, snorkeling study with some limited excavations to identify, examine, and get the te temporal uh, location and try and assess the activities. You can see the amount of volume that is on that surface in a sandy matrix immediately adjacent to the shell bin, which gives the indication that those shell tools and sea turtle bone uh, were functionally related potentially. Radiocarbon dates suggest a late prehistoric site between 880 and 1660, and that would bring it into the uh, safety harbor period. And there were also uh, artifacts from the Midian with bell blade ceramics and, and uh, check stamps that indicated an earlier late uh, uh, Minnesota Key Wheaton Island component, which which indicated that there was a late deposit of safety harbor in association with, uh, with the Wheat Island component. One of the interesting dates uh, were late archaic columella shell tools are known to be dated uh, considerably earlier in the late archaic and the distribution of columella tools around the island, which were probably over 100, indicated that they were from spoil that were originally dredged from the 1907 or 1965 legend that primarily capped the mangrove marsh in the marsh of which capped the archaeological site. So we have a, um, a case study in, in sea level rise that estimated to occur about, I would say, 1500 to 1550 based on the associated artifacts, radiocarbon dates, in Spanish olive jars in association with the mangrove line, line over the minute. Two minutes, oh my God. <laughs> um, here we have some of the erosion in 2004. The island never did do uh, get its stabilization uh, plan, so it continued to erode. And in 2013, the director of the navigation district initiated another project for stabilization of the island. Um, and uh, and it was designed by Huston Moore and uh, funded by the navigation district. Here's the erosion of the island happened over the years, and they did the plant the, the uh, decide to hard shore some of the surfaces so they could use the island both as a spoil island and protect the archaeological site. They removed the stumps. Uh, I monitored, uh, did some collection, worked on the site, and. Uh, Monitor the installation of the, of the groins and placed into the sands to create a containment basin to cover the site and hopefully protect it. And intact features, uh, mendable uh, pot breaks. It was a considerably significant site uh, demonstrating um, inundation, transformation of environments, erosion, exposure. And this is the latest uh, um, 2014. And recently in 2019, they just did another in, uh, episode. 
in 2014, uh, the West Coast Navigation District was awarded the Stewards Heritage Award in by Florida, which was hosted by the Warren Hill Springs Little Salisbury Archaeological Society. And a uh, volunteer and an intern from New College, Michelle Calhoun, who's here today, uh, initiated an analysis of prehistoric shell tools, gastropod tools, and, and columella tools from Snake Island, and uh, worked on recording over a thousand shell specimens, 23 uh, type C and D cameras, F cameras, C cameras, uh, a number of different types of shell tools, uh, categorized, measured, weighed, and uh, came up with a description, uh, did some work on the columella, which uh, I'm wrapping it up here, and uh, demonstrated the columella tools seem to be snapped, and looking at catholic strategies, and whoa, and, uh, and etc. So she also did some illustrations of the artifacts, uh, which helped in the analysis process. And that's basically it. I'm almost out of time. Snake Island Center of the Universe for Local Voters, now potentially uh, in prehistoric times as well. And so this study has allowed us, me, to examine the uh, effects of sea level rise, erosion, flooding, inundation, and um, I've got a bunch of people to thank the 